Christmas in China. What a wonderful time of the year. Not. China has once again banned Christmas. Banned Christmas and then failed. Why does the Chinese government keep trying to cancel Christmas? It's so annoying, but almost every other year, the government clamps down on Christmas, telling schools and training centers that they're not allowed to put up decorations, whipping up nationalism and encouraging groups of people to go out and harass businesses that have set up decorations, forcing them to remove them or be seen as traitors. Brainwashing children into thinking that celebrating and enjoying any holiday that isn't strictly Chinese is akin to betraying your country and nationality. No Santa Clauses allowed anymore at school celebrations and, oh yes, we did allow Christmas songs. But from now on, no more Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer allowed by order of the government. That sort of thing. It's stupid and a yearly stunt to promote nationalist pride. And guess what? A few months later, it's completely forgotten. It's that time of year again, holiday season. It's the best time of the year. Everybody's in the mood to get together with friends and family. Everyone's rushing out to buy that last minute gift. But guess what? Avoid the rush. Get yourself an extra wallet. They're fantastic gifts. Whether you're sitting in front of the fire, putting them underneath a tree, sticking them in your Christmas stocking, Everybody will appreciate an extra wallet. It's time to get rid of the bulk. No more do we need to carry around a huge boat anchor in our pockets when we can get a slim, high-tech, amazing wallet from Exter. These things are great, and everybody that I've given one as a gift has loved it. Head on over to partner.exter.com forward slash serpentsaday and use the code serpentsaday to get a massive discount this holiday season. All the best to you and yours. And now, back to the show. And the thing is, people are people all over the world. And although Christmas in China has never been anything other than a commercial holiday, businesses want an excuse to promote deals and encourage shopping for gifts. People still enjoy any excuse to dress up and go out celebrating and have fun. The thing is... Sometimes people forget that it's China. The land where you can be arrested for saying the wrong thing or simply for wearing a Halloween costume. In China, there's a massive disconnect between society and the law. I know this sounds ridiculous, but most people in China simply do whatever they want and constantly break the rules and the law unchallenged. And people don't get involved. Heck, the government and police don't get involved unless, of course, you challenge the government or happen to do what you normally do at the wrong time. For instance, during the Most Cultured City Award Week, or if a government official is visiting. This is going to be strange, but I'd like to demonstrate this by showing you an interaction I had with someone in my building complex. And this involves stealing dirt. Yes, Honestly, dirt theft. See, they're just doing some planting here. And right now, some people stealing soil from, from here. Hmm? Why are you taking this picture? Take the picture. What? Take the picture. I know, but you can't buy it. Why
As you can see, clearly, people have no problem doing whatever they want. I should add more context here, of course. Landscapers had come to plant new trees and flowers in the shared garden. This, of course, was at the expense of the entire community's management fees. She dug up not an insignificant amount of the soil that was put in the flower bed, digging up and throwing aside the planted flower seedlings, I might add. And uh, if I had not intervened, she would have absolutely taken a lot more. It's a high traffic area inside the complex. You need to be a resident to enter. You go through the security gate, you go in there. But at least a hundred people walk past her digging up the soil and not a single person said or did anything. And that is the disconnect I'm talking about. So what is the point of all of this? Simple. The Chinese government usually has a hands-off approach and will allow people to do whatever they want, but they're unpredictable. And what was tolerated yesterday can suddenly get you arrested and jailed today. The one thing that is of course predictable about the Chinese government is that it will always be self-serving. It will always promote xenophobia and nationalism. And that it is truly an enemy to not only the people of China, but the entire world. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic holiday season, whomever you are and wherever you are. I adore each and every one of you who watch my videos. And uh, I have a small Christmas request for you all. One that involves adventure, drama, and goofy hair. There are two people in particular that I'd like to help out this Christmas. One is my friend and business partner Lao86, and the other one is my father. Lao86 is so close to hitting a million subscribers, and I know that hitting that milestone would be a huge achievement and incredible experience for him. So if you're in the holiday spirit and feel like giving, please go over and subscribe to his channel. And secondly, if you're into African adventures and tales of danger, my father's African adventure story channel called Surviving Africa is growing. Please head on over and give it a look and subscribe if you enjoy hearing the stories. These are the stories I grew up with and even experienced some myself. Until next time, unlike the Chinese government constantly cancelling Christmas, happy holidays and stay awesome. You speak English? Yeah. What are you in your mouth? In your face? Yes, you can see my face.